<laughs> what the heck? It's a flipping starfish. Sorry, buddy. He was just finding his business eating. Look at that. And I just hooked him. <laughs> What's up Anglers and Anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm hitting an old spot up here in Monterey and we're gonna do some fishing, of course. We're gonna try something new. I'm gonna try doing some light lining today. This will probably be a short video. I'm just messing around doing some trial and error. I normally always fish with heavy setups when I'm out here on the rocky outcrops. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, but I'm just hoping that it'll work out. It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, no clouds, low breeze, but it's Monterey, so it's just really, really cold. But yeah, let's just gear up, mess around a bit and see what we can catch today. But before we get started, let's talk a little bit about safety. Make sure you got appropriate footwear. Anything with a lot of traction works. Take your time when you're walking around. The terrain isn't flat. There's little holes around. If your foot gets caught in a hole and you trip, it's gonna hurt and we don't want that. Waves don't look too rough. Pretty calm day right now, but you should still keep an eye on the ocean in case a big wave does come in. Don't forget to layer up, bring extra clothing just in case. It's not really fun to fish when you're freezing your tushy off. All right, let's get started. It's about five feet from the bobber to the bait. Let's just see if there's anything around at the five feet level. Keep an eye on your bobber. You do want to make sure the bobber doesn't run into a rock or somewhere that you'll get stuck. Usually I'd get nibbles right about now, but I haven't got any nibbles yet. Not even a single one. Wait, wait, I think we got one. The bobber went down. I was distracted by all the birds that were flying around. Well, that might have been the only fish and I lost it because now I'm back to no more nibbles. Today is just a trial and error fishing video anyway, so let's just move around. So be right back. We got so many cool places to explore. There's definitely some fish here. Water's pretty calm and clear over here too. I can actually see the fish that are nibbling at my bait. Wait, that's an opali. That's a big opali. That's like gotta be at least nine inches right there. Opalis will definitely go for shrimp. Probably should have brought some green peas though. Might have worked better. Bobber's going to the left. Let's see. We got one? Yep, we got one. Nice. Oh, look at that fish you got. Yeah, this is a striped oh, surfer. Yep. No, I'm gonna let this one go. Oh, I'm just catching like for fun that. today. Nice, look at this striped surf perch. He's massive. This has to be like 11 inch or something. All right, cool beans, the setup works. Let's let this guy back. These fish are so pretty. Look at the nice blue pattern and the little stripes on them. Beautiful fish. Thanks for playing, Chunky Boy. Now that was a fish worthy of Monterey. That's a great first catch. Nice, let's see what else is out here. At first I thought the opali went for it. They don't seem to be interested in the shrimp though, but the striped surfers are always interested in the shrimp. If there's one, there's probably more. The water is really deep over here. There's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of kelp. Very good structure for all these fishy boys. The water is also super clear here. I could just see fish swimming around. A lot of them are small, less than three inches, but there are some good six inches just swimming around in the mix. All right, no more bites to this spot. So let's move around a little bit more. Maybe a fish? Crap, man, my light line snapped. I mean, it's kind of expected. 10 pounds not gonna survive getting caught in sharp rocks. A fellow angler has been catching some rockfish, so I'm just gonna swap to a heavier setup and see if I can catch some too. That's enough messing around with the light line.
Not a keeper. Nice one though. Oh baby. A nice cabbie? Nice catch and release right there. Yeah. Look how beautiful he is. That's a baby. He'll live again. Well, back to the basics. The good old high-low rig on a size four hook. Got shrimp on the top, squid on the bottom. My boy fishing next to me spared me a little bit of his extra squid because that's what they were biting on. I'm still hoping they'll bite on shrimp because a lot of things bite on shrimp anyways, but thank you, brother. <laughs> what the heck? It's a flipping starfish. Yeah, it's a nice one. It looks pretty cool. Sorry, buddy. He was just finding those business eating. Look at that. And I just hooked him. <laughs> That's probably the biggest starfish I've ever seen. I've ever caught, actually. Wait, no, I caught one. He dragged me into the rock. It's a nice little rockfish. Well, they're all keepers. There's no size limit. <laughs> no, I wouldn't keep this guy. He's a little too small. But nice. Look, we got a rockfish. Look at this tiny rockfish. I think it's a black and yellow rockfish. Well, I'll figure it out later. He's a little too small. I'm gonna just let this guy go. I mean, I wasn't really keeping anything today anyways, but let's let you on back, little guy. Thanks for playing, tiny rockfish. It's just a little spooky to fish over here. There's a lot more submerged rocks than I can kind of see. You're probably gonna lose a couple of rigs fishing out here, but that's okay. Make sure your drag is set all the way because if you do feel a bite, you're gonna wanna... Oh, look, hello, Mr. Sea Lion. Because if a fish does bite, you're gonna wanna reel them up right away. If you don't, there's a good chance they'll swim into a rock and you're gonna get stuck and you're not gonna win fighting against a rock. The hard part is just to try to find some clearing through the kelp. Got snagged again. Lost the top hook. I think I'm just gonna stick with just the one bottom hook then. And I'll just stick with using squid because I caught that rockfish on the squid. Bites slow down a bit. It's been about an hour or two since the last catch, but I feel pretty good about this spot. It's just trying to find a good spot that doesn't have too much kelp around it. Now I know kelp's good structure and there's always fish hanging around kelp, but this is too much kelp. 